reaching out to the younger generation. President Mubarak's son Gamal trying to claw back territory that had been lost to dissident bloggers since 2005. Mubarak Jr. heads the Influential Policies Committee in the ruling party. It's often rumored that he will one day succeed his father. On Wednesday, he took on some tough questions in a webcast that was advertised on the most popular social networking sites. For more than three hours, Mubarak defended the government's policies and urged Egypt's youth in particular to remain optimistic. However, a question about his emergence as the sole presidential candidate failed to get an answer. A recent study at Cairo University compared the Egyptian ruling party's use of new media to the style of U.S. President Barack Obama. Gamal Mubarak and the people around him are very much plugged in to the global phenomena. You know, I mean, they're not parochial at all. And I think they're very much aware of the importance that the new media played in the last American election. That's one reason. But I think there's a second reason. It's sort of sim a symbol, if you would, a symptomatic symbol that Gamal Mubarak uh, projects as being a sort of a modern figure, a figure who is concerned with reform, which we associate with modernity. The customers at this internet cafe in West Cairo hadn't heard about Gamal Mubarak's online endeavor, but they had strong opinions about it. When things like that are done here in Egypt, it's all about image, not content. Just to emulate the West. It's all talk, but there's no true desire for change. It's such a good thing that technology is being used this way. To have influential people listen to what young people want. A connection between the government and the masses. For example, young people's concerns over unemployment should be addressed. The internet became a highly influential political tool in Egypt after bloggers used it to call for a nationwide strike last year, a move that resulted in the country's worst riots in 30 years. But it's not all about exploiting new media, some say. Sources from within the ruling party tell Al Jazeera that Gamal Mubarak is using this approach as a soft start to the party's campaign to keep its majority in parliament ahead of next year's legislative elections. Some say the reasons are even more ambitious. I think it's a very significant step for Gamal Mubarak on his road to the presidential palace. He wants to create a popularity for himself among young people on the road to achieving his presidential ambitions in the elections of 2011. A young face to an old party battling a tough popularity contest. One that would arguably take more than an online debate to win. Amr Kahki Al Jazeera, Cairo.